figure it. Kyle, Kenny, I have to talk to you right now. Okay, hang on a second. I gotta... Right now, goddammit! All right, all right! Dude, what is the matter with you? Trent Boyette is being released from Juvenile Hall. <gasps> oh my gosh, what the heck? Not Trent Boyette. Who the heck is Trent Boyette? Ooh, mystery, mystery. No! Hey, gay buds, what's going on? Trent Boyette is being released from Juvenile Hall. Really? That's cool, isn't it? What did you say? Trent Boyette? Meanest, dirtiest, toughest kid in the world, super pissed off at us, Trent Boyette? Ooh, what have they done? No, they've done something. They've done something bad. I can feel it. Especially, I feel like Cartman has to have been involved. Like, Cartman has to have done something to piss off this Trent kid. Trent Boyette is getting out? It's true. Oh, Jesus. Oh, crazy, Kevin. I gotta hide. He's gonna come for us, you guys. We are dead men. Look, maybe he's forgiven us. I mean, we were only in preschool. Ooh, ooh, Buzz is running. Cartman's scared. Everyone is scared of this Trent guy. He must be very scary. Goddamn. Ooh, I'm ready for this Trent reveal. Like, who is Trent Boyette? Who is that? And why does he want to kill them? Let's play firemen. Jews can't be firemen. Shut up, fat ass. Don't call me fat, you stupid Jew! I love how literally nothing has changed. Like, Cartman and Kyle are still fighting. And why... Sorry, can we talk about how Cartman is still a bit... You know, I mean, come on. Like, what is... What, is, what was his mom feeding him? God damn. <laughs> this boy. Hey, Kenny's right. We should put out a real fire. Then we'll be heroes. But how do we start a fire? Trump Boyette will do it. He's the toughest, baddest kid in preschool. Mm -hmm. Who do you see it want? Do you know how to start a fire? This isn't gonna go down well. This is not gonna go down well. This is not a good idea. And if I use my brain here, I'm gonna assume that they're gonna get Trent to start the fire and then blame, like the fire's gonna be really bad and they're gonna blame it on him. Do you even know how to put out a fire? Yeah, yeah, we play firemen all the time. Don't worry, Trent. All right, fine. This isn't, this isn't, this is not, like, wait, one, how does this kid even know how to start a fire? Like, I don't know how old oh, they're supposed to be, but why does he know how to start a fire? And two, this, like, where is the teacher? Where is the teacher? Like, is, are they not going to stop this? Oh, clang, 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 clang. Come on, fireman, put out the fire. We're heroes. We saved the school. Oh gosh, this is this. <laughs> what is this? They're using that. <sighs> I mean, it's South Park. What? What did I expect? <laughs> what did I expect? Literally, what? Do I, what did I expect? Children, get back away now! Ah! I'm burning! What an idiot! Why would you? What? Why? Why does she do that? Why? Why? Simply, wh why would you try and burn out a fire? Why would you try and get... Ugh, the math is not mathing. Get some <laughs> Dude, we are in so much trouble. My mom is gonna break my legs! Hey, we didn't start the fire. Trent Boyette did. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, Cartman is such a little... Uh, he's such a snack. I mean... Oh. Oh. Of course he's gonna blame the fire on Trent. Of course. When it was his idea. It was the boy's idea to stop the fire, and now they're gonna... Mm-mm, that's not cool. Of course, Trent is trying to tell us the fire was your idea. No, not us. We're good kids. Tell them it was an accident. You thought you could put it out. Trump by yet is a liar, sir. I thought so. All right, that's it, Trent. You're going no. to juvenile hall for a long time. Okay, that is so not cool. If someone... I mean, Trent did start the fire, but still, you know, it was their idea damn Carmen didn't hold back they snaked him they said it was him it wasn't me butters you saw tell them what happened uh i'll deal with trent uh, i don't want to get involved i better pray i never get out of juvenile hall you better all pray i'd, be, I'd pray to be honest if i if i snakes if i snaked one of the baddest kids in school and i told the police it was him that started the fire um, I'm gonna be scared when he gets out of, out of juvenile hall. Like, of course I'm gonna be scared. <laughs> now it's five years later, and Trent Boyette is being released. 
Oh, uh, Jesus, he's gonna kill us. We, we gotta tell our parents. We can't tell our parents, dude. We lied to everybody. Nobody knows we're responsible for Miss Claridge's accident. Shh, here comes Miss Claridge now. Ooh. Hello, Hello Miss Claridge. Claridge. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, uh. oh. <laughs> she is that she's oh. Ah. Ugh, that's, that's not, that's not good. Poor, poor woman. Poor woman. That's, yeah, and it was their fault. Everything you had on you when you were first brought in here will now be returned. One Crayola 8-pack with crayon sharpener. One pair of plastic round tip scissors. Switchblade knife with kill all betrayers written on the blade. What? What? Why would you give him that back? Why would you, why would you give back... Oh my god, it's South Park. What am I- Every time I think, like, I have to remind myself, it is South Park. So what do you expect? But still, like, I, I'm, I'm struggling. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Butters? Who? Oh, oh, hi, Dad. Butters, what is wrong with you? Butters is hiding because... Trent told him, Trent was like, Butters, tell the police the truth. And Butters was like, oh, I don't want to get involved. Sorry. So Butters is scared that he, Trent Boyer is going to get him. And I mean, I'd be scared too. I'd be scared too. <laughs> Butters, play. <laughs> Stop playing right now, young man. <laughs> His parents are like so mean. They don't even want to ask him, hey, like, is there a reason why you're so scared to go outside? Like, they don't even want a parent. I mean, hey. Ah! Oh god. Earth is the matter with him. Just keep the door locked, honey. Butters can't be a house hermit his whole life. Oh god, he's coming! Oh god, he's gonna kill me! Open I the just door! I'm gonna go upstairs. And and the award for the worst parent of the year award goes to Butters Parent. Give it up, everybody. The worst parents of the year. They are awful parents. Your kid is screaming, banging on the door, being like, let me in, let me in. And you're like, I can't stand it. I'm going to go upstairs. What? Oh, honestly, I can't. Oh, hey, Triple Yen. I'm glad I haven't seen you in a while. Five years. It's been five long, miserable years. <laughs> Please don't hurt me, Trent. I'll give you anything you want. You name it. Can you give me back my time? Huh? Can you do that? Ooh, come on, Trent. Trent, you know they can't give you back your time. You know, Trent, 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 you know they can't give you back those five years, Trent. Come on, Trent. Come on, Trent. What happened to him, Doctor? From the test results, it would appear your child was tortured by a bully. No, we received a massive study. Trent Boyet got him. Trent Boyet got him. Goddamn. Oh, butters. Well, you know what that means. If he got butters, I wonder who he's going for next. I wonder. If only we had let him in. Why didn't we let him inside the house when he was screaming because, for help? Because now, you're I... awful parents. That's why I didn't let him in. Like, only awful parents would not let in their screaming child. Only awful parents. That's the only explanation. That's literally it. That's, that's it. Get some protection. How the hell are condoms gonna help us? <laughs> Oh my gosh, read the room, Cartman. You're literally in the hospital. There's a time and a place. A time and a place. Please. Have some decorum. Have some decorum. We're at a funeral. What are you little forties doing at our hangout? We've come to ask you for help. Help? <laughs> <laughs> we need you to protect us from a bully. Yeah, and what do we get for it? I mean, why would... I mean... I mean, yeah, I mean, getting help from sixth graders, but like, okay, yeah, they are older, so that makes sense for them to help them and protect. Yeah, okay, but what do they want, though? What do they want? Well, what do you want? You're Stan Marsh, right? Yeah. <laughs> we want a picture of your mom's boobs. Yeah. Oh, come on, grow up. Grow up. That is so. Uh, uh, and knowing. I think I'd, I feel like Stan's going back. Okay, sure. Yeah, I totally want to suck your mom's tits. Dude, weak. Come back with a naked picture of your mom. No! Then we aren't helping you! 
Oh, uh, I really hope like, I mean, it's been a long time since I've been in sixth grade, but I really hope that people who are in sixth grade are not like that because... Poor woman suffers such horrible burns she can only communicate by beeping once for yes and twice for no. Oh, hello, Miss Claridge. Nice day, isn't it? Oh, I feel sorry. I feel bad for her. I really do feel bad for her. But, to, I mean, I don't know why she tried to put out the fire the way she did. But, I mean, that is an awful, awful, like, life to live. I, I feel really, really sad for her. Poor woman. Oh, no. No. Miss Claridge, you all right? Oh, no. You can talk to me, Miss Claridge. I understand. That's One beat for yes and two for no. That's not nice. This is not cool. This is not cool. She's literally stuck and she can't respond and, like, uh You don't have to be so cold. I'm just trying to help. She... Ooh, sorry. <laughs> what? Literally. Oh, honestly. Again, this is South Park, so what am I expecting? Of course he's not going to... Okay. There's no point in me even, you know, it's, it doesn't matter. Can Kyle come out and play? Oh, Kyle isn't home right now, hun. Thank you, ma'am. Sorry, a child shows up to your house with a knife and you don't want to, like, question why there's a child with a knife. You don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to ask any questions like, what are you doing outside my house with a knife and why are you asking for my son? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We just have to find something that looks like boots to take a picture of. What else has big, round, squishy globes? Draw the, um, you gotta draw the nipple stack on the bottom of my ass cheeks. No, the nipples are more in the middle, see? Yeah, but Stan's mom is, oh, that means your nipples stack more at the bottom there. How do you know? Oh, gosh. The things, hey, I mean, the things people be doing to get away from bullies. I mean, hey, bullies suck. They do suck, so I, 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 I but cut, no words. This is South Park, so, yeah. God, I hope this works. I wonder if the the sixth graders are gonna fall for it. I mean, they're in sixth grade, so like, what do they know? Like, what do you even know when you're in sixth grade? Actually, sixth graders these days they be knowing a lot. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? What now? We we got it. You got a picture of your mom's boobs? No way! Hey, hold on a second. These are like the hottest tits I've ever seen. Will oh, that's so stupid. That's so stupid. Those like, a, hey. <laughs> they fell for it. But anyway, they, they don't look anything. Okay, whatever. Oh, those are so hot. Oh. Ew. Ew. What the? Uh, <laughs> Why? Ugh, why? Why? All right, we'll let this Trent Boyette kid know that if he messes with you, he's messing with us. All right, you guys, we're free. We have a care in the world. Oh. Woo, yay, we did it. We just gave some sixth graders a picture of Cartman's bum. So, yeah, now everything's good. Hopefully, Trent Boyette is going to leave everyone alone and we can all live happily ever after. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? But it's South Park, so... That's not gonna happen, is it? Yeah, you know what we should do? We should go get it. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. I knew it. I, this is South Park. Like, literally, nothing ever, you know, you can never get too excited because you never know what they're gonna throw at you. But how did one little boy... My question is, how did one little boy defeat all those sixth graders? Like, what? Gosh, does is he does he have the strength of the Hulk? Like, is he Hulk or something? Like, why? How did he even? How did he even achieve that? Like, is he in the gym every day? I mean, dude, what happened? We told him not to mess with you guys. We told him you paid us. Oh Jesus, you told him that? Boys, you have to let him rest. Some mean kid gave him a Texas chili bowl. What's that? It involves Tabasco sauce, the telephone, and the anus. You know what's even worse now as well? Like, the the sixth grader, he told that, he told Trent that they sent him, and so now Trent knows, and now he's going to kill them even more, and it's just a long day. It's just, it's just a long, it's a long ass day. Ugh, that's awkward. I don't know what kind of kid would do this to other people. I only know that I wouldn't ever want to be on that kid's bad side. Well, 
well <laughs> there are people who are on his bad side so hey ho. i mean everyone is scared of this kid oh even the doctor's like mm -mm, i wouldn't go there and they're like oh well we went there jelly somebody is going to kill me and i can't go to mom or dad for help so you're kind of the only person i have left <laughs> He's like, Jelly, my life is in danger. She's like, shut up. Like, you're talking too much. Like, ugh, get away from me. I mean, I don't think he's going to kill him. Like, he's, he's probably just going to give them, like, a wedgie or something, you know? Can help us? Yes, but I'm going to watch something in return. A picture of your mom's boobs? Shut up, Turd! You're going to admit to Miss Clarence what you did! Admit it was our fault? You can't run from your past, Turd! She's right. Shelly coming in with, with the life lesson. She's like, you cannot run from your past. And she's right. She is right. We stand Jelly because she's given up. I mean, actually, she's a bit aggressive, but hey, smart, wise, wise words from a wise woman. See, Miss Claridge, when we were little, we used to play with our wieners a lot, and one game we played was called Fireman. I've been looking for you. Ooh, ooh, Trent, Trent is here. Oh my gosh, is he gonna kill him? Nah, nah, no, no, they can't die. It's nah, 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 they're not gonna die. They're not gonna die. But <laughs> Trent, ooh, scary. <laughs> Trent, look, we realized our mistake. Yes, our conscience got the best of us, and we were just about to tell everyone the truth. You had five years to do that. Ooh, if Carmen is screaming, you know he's scary. <laughs> Trent's gonna get him. He's gonna get him. Get Cartman. Get Cartman. <laughs> I heard about the things you've done, but there were no magical Christmas adventures with talking poo for me. Oh. I didn't get to fight a huge mechanized Barbara Streisand like you did. Mm. No accidental trip to Afghanistan for Trip Boy Ed. Trent Boyette is coming with you took my life. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get... I mean, when he puts it like that, it does sound a bit sad that he didn't get to experience all that when he was suffering, but... What's that? It's my mom's taser. I took it from her purse. Just back off there. I know how to use that. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. They are... Oh. This poor woman, she did not do anything to deserve this. She did not do anything to deserve this. Why? Why? Come on. And now... Oh, oh Trent, you just had to finish off your old preschool teacher, eh? No, they did it! Trent Boyette is a liar, sir. Oh! Are you serious? We're going back to stage one. Okay, see you later, Tran. Like, literally, you were here for, for a quick cameo. It's time to go back to where you came from. You know, hey. Ugh, damn. Miss Claridge, did Trent Boyette do this to you? Yes, yes. Take him away! No, you gotta listen to me! <laughs> Dude, when he gets out, he's gonna be really mad. Whatever, that's like five years from now. Yeah! Doesn't two beeps mean no? Oh, come on. Come on. This is this isn't cool. This isn't cool. This time it was Cartman. Like Cartman. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> hey, hold on a second. Boobs, boobs, boobs. I'm taking them to the bushes. I'm taking them to the bushes. Okay, that um <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that is the episode. I really enjoyed this episode. This episode was very funny. And I kind of liked the mess. I mean, I didn't really know if the message was conveyed because they ended up snaking on Trent again. You know, like they... Guys, don't, don't snitch. You know, don't, don't, don't snitch. Like snitching, nobody likes snitches. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> and also, you know, if you've done something wrong, just like admit it, you know, like... And also, though, forgive people. You know, that's what that's what I'm going to preach. Forgive. You know, I think, Trent, as much as they hurt you, I think the more mature and great thing would be if you just forgave them, even though they ruined your life. Like, <laughs> I know it's hard, but I mean that's that's what i've that's been that's what i've been personally trying to work on forgiving people who have done bad things to me who've done me wrong and just having that grace and just being like you know what i forgive you i feel like that is even more that's more hurtful than getting revenge i don't know what do you guys think do you guys think revenge makes sense like do you do you, are you a revenge type person because me i feel like i'm more in my forgiving era i forgive you it's okay <laughs> 
but anyways if you guys want me to react to more south park react well if you guys want me to react to more south park episodes let me know down in the comments below let me know what you thought of this episode did you enjoy it did you hate it <laughs> what do you want me to see also i'm being consistent so say so well done to me in the comments and yeah i will see you in my next one bye